my name is Kate here at Hub and Spoke working with the San Diego Public Library and today we're going to go over V-brake adjustments. Alright, so the first step in our V-brake adjustment is going to be the actual tension on the cable between the caliper and our brake lever. When you pull a brake lever, it shouldn't go all the way to the handlebars. Uh, each rider has their own different type of where they want their hand to be when the brake is fully actuated. I like my brakes tight, so what we're going to do is loosen this anchor bolt. This is a 5 millimeter Allen. We're going to loosen it, and then I pull all the way to where both are touching, both pads, both arms, and I back it off about 4 millimeters on the cable. Make sure that you tighten that up. We don't want our cable to slip through when we're going down Torrey Pines. And then we're going to squeeze our lever, and that feels good. Nice and tight for me. I got little hands. I don't want to pull too far. All right, so now we're going to get into adjusting our pads. Again, we're going to use a Y Allen or a 5 millimeter. And we're going to loosen this up. Just so you guys can see, that's completely loose. Now notice I keep this hand underneath the brake shoe. When we go to tighten things down, they do like to move. So I take this finger and I put it right underneath the front of the pad. And then with my thumb, I hold that arm closed. This just makes it easier for me to see where we're hitting on the rim. We want to make sure we follow that arc. We want to be about a millimeter from the top of the rim or two. And we're going to snug it up. And then, of course, because I only want to do this once, I'm going to pull the arm back and I'm going to actuate the brake by hand and make sure that we're hitting in a good line where I want it to happen. And then once you like where it is, get that finger underneath the front, hold that pad steady, and give it a good amount of tightening. Uh, again, if it's too loose, your brake shoes are going to rattle loose and fall down. So we want to make sure that this nut is tight. All right, and I just wanted to give you guys a close-up of what we're looking for when we do a brake pad adjustment. We want that pad to perfectly follow the arc of the rim. We don't want it hanging down, and we don't want it pointing up into the tire. So make sure that you do follow the curve of that rim with the curve of the brake shoe. All right, guys, so now that we got our pads set up, what we're going to do is we're going to center these arms to our rim, and this is called our uh, brake centering adjustment. On a V-brake caliper like this, there are two springs that we're going to be looking at when we're, when we're centering it to the rim. They're both behind the arms here. This is one, and of course, because there's two arms, we have one on the other side. When we talk about centering, we're talking about the tension on either of these springs. We want it to be equal. As you can see right now, my wheel doesn't turn at all. When I pull my brake, only one arm is moving. This is definitely not centered. You're going to be burning a lot more calories riding your bike like this. There are two screws, one on each arm. If you turn the screw right, it adds tension to the arm, pulling it away from the rim. If you loosen the screw, it loosens the tension on the spring, allowing it to go further, t further into the rim or this one is stronger now, so it's actually pulling the arm over. So, if we look at my two arms right now, this one is definitely has more tension on its spring, and this one has less. I'm going to add tension to this arm. So I'm going to take my screwdriver, and I'm going to turn this screw one full turn. Of course, after that, we want to pull our brake and see if it did anything. It did not. I do like, just to make sure, pull this spring out, release all the tension on it, put it back on. Sometimes it gets a little wind up. Nope, still nothing. So I'm going to continue adding turns to this. As you can see, that one arm is still winning the strength war by quite a bit. So I might actually come over and loosen the screw on this side a little bit. This is a little harder since it's on the other side of the bike for me and I don't want you guys to have my whole body in the way. We're going to turn that one left. Oh, and now this arm's starting to move again. 
and I get a little OCD and I start looking at the gap in between the two. We're definitely not rubbing anymore. I want that to be even. I want those brake shoes to hit the rim at the exact same time. So I'm actually looking right here between the rim and the brake shoe. And I think that this arm is still just a little bit stronger. So I'm going to do a half turn. Resettle my spring. Anytime I add tension, I resettle. Oh, and that's looking way better, possibly even a little too much. Spin, no rub. I'm going to go out, I'm going to put a tire on first. Uh, go out, do a hard test ride, and make sure that my adjustment stayed. If it doesn't, just add little, little increments to either side, test ride. Double check your work. Once there's no rub, and the pads are hitting at the same time on the rim in the same place, you're good to go. Hi guys, I hope you learned a lot from the V-brake adjustment video and I hope you're stopping on a dime.